How you guys doing? This is Johnny back here at MyMixEngineer.com and I've got my hands on this new innovative convolution reverb. I, you could say it's like a hybrid because it's got a convolution and a algorithmic reverb in it as well. But it's basically focused on convolution reverbs and it is by Overloud. And I just want to show you guys my first impression of it I have a session that I already mixed and the artist name is Ashley rain go check her out a link is in the description I also have it here so so yeah let's dive right on into it so basically it is a convolution reverb for you guys who don't know what a convolution reverb is what it is it's basically you set up a speaker and a microphone in this room in a particular room, whether it's your garage or your attic, bathroom, your bedroom, or a grade A professional multi-million dollar studio, live room, or isolation booth, yada yada, such and such. And it sends out this ping or a sound generated sound, and the microphone captures like the length and the sound of the room. And what this does, it, you take the you take the IR, which is the impulse, and you can put it in here. But they already have their presets already, some of their convolutions anyway. Um, and, and what it does is translates, it transforms your signal going into it to a to make it sound like it's actually in that room instead of having an algorithmic reverb, which is like a bunch of different delays and calculated voodoo inside of the plugin but yeah let's check it out so basically this is just like actually recording in the, in the room and it is a nice little cpu hog a little if i don't have nothing on i don't have anything on so it's not a C, not a big cpu hog so let's check this out the great thing about it is that you can actually customize the reverb you can actually have hall, you have hall, room, a plate, and early reflection. Then they have like this little effect special reverb thingy here. But yeah, let's dive right into some of the um, presets that they have. Enough of the talking. All right, so with the start, I double clap on the start. And as you can see, I'm on vocals because I have a vocal here. And. And got a little haul, got some plate, got some early reflection. Let's see what it sounds like. B turns off, I'm on. I only know one way. Turn up, everybody say it, I'm on. B turns off, I'm on. I only know one way. Turn up, everybody say it, I'm on. Which is nice. Let's see what it sounds like. And then the, the cool thing about it is that you have it's fully customized customizable I can go to the hall I can shorten the hall here I can lengthen the hall here which is nice same with the plate I can shorten and lengthen it here uh, as well as the early reflections and then we have a mix of everything I can shorten and lengthen the whole all three of those combined and also here on the back end I'm gonna get back to this here down here you have these little faders and it's basically adjusting how much reverb how much hall reverb you want how much plate how much early reflections you want to have in it and then as you can see I, I muted the dry so you can actually just stick this as an insert or you can use it as an auxiliary which is great so you now you got your dry you can bring in some dry which is almost like parallel in it so it won't be so much but yeah it's great you guys um it had all these little different features like even with the hall I can EQ the hall so I can take a high shelf and I can you know saying tune down some of the lows anything below 250 Hertz 250 Hertz you no know, I could do a nice uh, shelf, well, high pass filter, 
up to 250 which is great you can change the Q make it a wide Q or narrow Q <clears throat> you can enable those which is great and you can pan it you can spread it out a little more you can lengthen it here you can add some pre delay same with the plate and the early reflection you could do the same thing as well as if I added a a room reverb as well so check this out on the back end of it which is which is like mind-blowing is that it has a modular and you can spread it out and you can change the, the how fast the modulation is going on how tense it is is you know you guys you probably should know about that you got a delay you can add some delay to your reverb as well and you got your timing here and you can actually can make it go to the tempo there or you can just dial in how much you want click on the little note and it'll go to your grid which is great delay then here is the interesting thing this right here is is a uh, is basically an algorithmic ag oh look yeah excuse me algorithmic reverb and what it does is adds an algorithmic reverb to your reverb to kind of smooth it out a little bit more if you want to you got drive you can add compression and to your overall reverb as it's going out you can add some more EQ to it which is very integrated <clears throat> innovating as well as if you have your own reverbs uh, your own your own impulse responses that you made you can input them as well and have your is have your own your own IRs so which is great you guys I'll let you hear it on the vocals just go through a couple presets that's the best way to kind of test it out be turned off I'm on I only know one way turn up everybody say it I'm on be turned off I'm on I only know one way be turned off I'm on I only know one way be turned off I'm on I only know one way nicely tell be turned off I'm on I only know one way that's cool you can hear a little pre-delay going on in there be turned off I'm on I only know one way wow I like that not for this but yeah I like that be turned off I'm on yeah, it's, it's big and warm, all right. It's kind of a little boomy for me. Be turned off, I'm on. That's nice. Be turned off, I'm on. Be turned off, I'm on. All right, so enough with vocals. Let's try it out on, let's see. Take this back down. Let's try this out on a... On a snare. Let's try it out on the snare. Make sure I'm with this vocal. nice let's check out the snare reverbs some of the presets they have for drums snare drive I'm gonna overdo it so you guys can really hear it All right, so basically you get the idea, and you know, let me know what you think about it. You know, you guys, I'm, I'm always willing to hear what you know you guys got to say. Honestly, I am, but yeah, and you can make your own presets. You got room down here. That say, for instance, you go through find a preset that you like, tweak it however you want it, 
and say you want to add some modulation to it da 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 you actually can save this preset save it and save it to have whatever you want to save it as and voila you go here then you go back to your preset right there inside of the actual plugin which is <clears throat> which is great as well you guys so yeah guys tell me tell me what do you like you like agoramic reverbs or convolution reverbs me personally i am a convolution type of reverb type of guy well i'm a mixture so you guys tell me what you think i hope this helped you out find your way over to out over loud um website i have it in the description check it out get the demo it is a hefty 329 dollars yeah i think it was 329 yeah i have 329 but in my opinion is it worth it if you don't have a if you don't have a solid convolution reverb this might be a tr a good try a good good way to jump on into it. it is a little it has a learning curve but to each his own you guys to each his own that's the best way i can say it try it out take a listen to it i like it it is one of my go-to's now i love it so yeah you know mixing is an art be you stay true i'm out well i ain't out i'm still here but you know Oops!